Okay, here's our Pindo Palm update. This is Butia Capitata, and you can see it's absolutely flawless. Uh, the only thing I did was put an umbrella over top to keep it dry. So you can see it's definitely hardier than <laughs> the not so hardy Perigerbea Torellii. That one definitely got beat the crap out of it. Look at it. It looks like crap, but it is still alive. At this point, it's still alive. This guy here looks really good. There is no damage on it. And uh, I mean, it was pretty cold. You can see the trunk on it here. I'm gonna hit it with some fertilizer right now. And uh, we'll get this thing going. Beautiful palm. And uh, these ones are actually prone to center spear loss, but I have to worry about this one now. So we're mid-March. And uh, there's a pinnate species that is somewhat foolproof in the mildest areas on Salt Spring Island. I have lost them at this garden, this location in the past, bad winters. There are some big ones on Salt Spring Island in milder locations that are going now for about 28 years, no protection, and getting big. So hopefully we can keep this guy going. I think just by keeping it dry in the wintertime, just throw an umbrella over top of it. I just pushed an umbrella spike in the ground beside it. Just a regular rain umbrella that somebody uses when they're walking through town to keep the rain off them. Just not even a big umbrella and it did the trick. So there, that's all you got to do. And look at how beautiful the fronds look on it. Because they were fully exposed to all that cold weather we had in late December. We had one week of a bad deep freeze and uh, well, drier definitely makes them hardier, that's for sure. They can endure more cold. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more updates here and palmy things from our island in the North Pacific. Cheers.